Some residents in Southeast Charlotte are upset about neighbors who are moving in. Some houses there have been turned into adult care facilities. The company behind them told anchor Allison Lottis that they're following all the rules. But some homeowners say they're worried the businesses could hurt the value of their neighborhood. There's no actual governing. Elizabeth Connor lives in the Stonehaven neighborhood in Southeast Charlotte. We're really outraged. She's upset because some homes are being turned into adult care facilities for patients with dementia. The sanctuary at Stonehaven allowed our cameras inside their facility on Kiskane Place. Officials say they are licensed through the county and North Carolina DHHS. Employees care for six residents who are here with varying levels of dementia. People with dementia, although they, they might wander, we have alarms and things set up in the home to prevent that. The last thing we want is somebody exiting the home without our knowledge. The company says extensive renovations they've done boosted the appraised value, but Connor, who is also a realtor, argues the opposite. When you've got a home that's so built out and so specifically built for a neighborhood that's really not even going to be, it's not going to be a comparable home when you look at other other houses in this neighborhood. This home on Bismarck Place will be the sanctuary at Stonehaven's second location. They tell me state health officials will inspect this house on Monday and they hope to open by the beginning of September. Our goal is to make sure that the, the homes that we do have, that the residents that we serve and the families that we serve are happy with what we're doing. I'm concerned about what it's doing to change the dynamic of this neighborhood. The sanctuary at Stonehaven says North Carolina law allows family care homes to operate in all residential districts, but the homes must be at least 800 feet apart. A July 2018 state inspection of the sanctuary at Stonehaven found issues dealing with documentation of residents' medication and the use of video monitors. But in January of this year, the facility was given a three out of four stars rating. We've posted more on our website, WSOCTV.com.